Hey folks, Finless Bob here, and this is going to be uh, my video on what's in the box for the Imito QX1. Um, I'm sure you're going to see other videos online on YouTube, probably by uh, Rivers and whatnot, who will show you what the UI looks like and stuff like that. This is strictly what's in the box, uh, rather than show you full operation. Um, so again, it's just what's in the box. This is what I got, and this is the QX1. So basically you open it up and on top is the unit. Now I've had it out. Mine had a bag, a little bag that it came in. Uh, so it wasn't raw like this, but it was basically sitting there. As you can see it's a little different than what's on the box. The box shows all black and looks like what looks like all plastic to me. This has a metal top and bottom. And if you see my guts video or what's inside, I pulled it apart. There is a cooling to the case with a transfer pad from the processor, which is probably why they went to metal instead of this plastic look that's on the box. All right, underneath is the usual stuff. Once again, you've got a little manual, and just like most of these manuals out of China, not much to it really. Uh, read it if you like, but uh, usually you don't have to. If this is your first TV stick, I'd say go through it and see what you can get out of the manual. All right, once again, we've got a power supply. So let's take a look. I think Geek Buying, because this came from Geek Buying, updated it. Uh, and this is a 2 amp power supply. Now I've used this power supply and I will tell you this you cannot power this with a weak power supply even most of the sticks I can actually power from my USB port uh, because I have a PC that puts out a good uh, current for the USB port uh, but in this case it was unstable when I powered this from my PC USB port so this power supply is a must all right, and Geek Buying, I think, has upgraded it. I don't know if this is stock from the manufacturer. Geek Buying usually upgrades or makes sure you're getting a 2 amp power supply and not like a 1.5 or something. All right, there's your typical USB cord. This is what you'll power it with, or uh, it can be used as your OTG port to connect to the PC. Now, on the Amido QX1, we have one main host USB port. This is where you plug in keyboards, mice, hubs, whatever. On the side, you have your uh, SD card slot. You have your OTG port and a reset hole pin button. The reset holes for flashing ROMs. If you hold the reset button in and plug in the OTG port to your PC, uh, it will go into flash mode and you can flash ROMs. Okay, you cannot do that from this port. Additionally, unlike other sticks I've seen, if you have a powered USB hub, there's they've got a blocking diode in here. What that means is your powered USB hub will not power this Imito through this port. All right. However, the reverse is not true. If you don't have a powered USB hub, uh, or you even do have a powered USB hub, but you don't hook power to it, the Imito does send power out here, which will power the hub. But I recommend you always get a powered USB hub because this thing's already taken uh, the power needed from this power supply, and if you've got a non-powered USB hub, you may not have enough power to power your devices on that hub. But again, if you apply power to your powered USB hub and plug it in here, it will not power this unit on. The other thing on here is an external antenna. I happen to have one actually. It plugs in and it gives your Wi-Fi an external antenna for better range. All right, I have tested it. It does provide better range than the built-in antenna inside of here. All right, so that's the stick. Um, again, the power supply, your USB cord that you can use to either power it, plugging it into here, and plugging it into the OTG port will power it. All right, um, or you can get another cable uh, as you see fit. Uh, when you hook it to your PC, since there's only one power port, your PC will be powering this for flashing. Try not to have any devices plugged in here if your PC is powering it, because the only way to flash a ROM is through the OTG port, which will power it from your PC, uh, and there's no other way to separately power it with the power supply as well. Understand that. All right, HDMI cable as usual, just an extension cable. I haven't used it. Um, I have several cables, but that's what's in the box. All right, so that's an overview of the ports on the unit, uh, what's in the box for it, and recommendations for me for how to power it. 
Again, when you flash ROMs, try not to have hubs plugged in and whatnot because your PC will be powering it and any hub. All right, when you're flashing, you don't really need anything plugged in here. You're just going to flash it from the OTG port, and then once it's flashed, go to the power supply. That's my recommendation. Don't try to power this from your PC. All right, so that's the Imito QX1, what's in the box. We'll see you around. Hope this was helpful, and enjoy.